Greetings everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Lady Starfire and I'm here to bring you some more witchy tips. First I'm going to apologize for missing last Monday but I just could not seem to get out here and get anything done. So anyway, um, we're going to get this one done and we'll try to get back on track. All right. So today I want to talk to you about magical cooking. Now we, I did one a while back, you know, on uh, being a kitchen witch. Some people call this that. Some people just call it, you know, stirring in some love. But there's different ways of actually doing magical cooking. I actually teach this in some of my classes. It gets a little more detailed in my classes, but I want to give you at least a start and you can kind of do some research and, you know, learn a little bit more from there if it's something that you're interested in making your food maybe more healthy or more filled with love or whatever okay so uh that being said i, I do have some notes to kind of keep me on track because all y'all know that i can get off on a little tangent sometimes so anyway all right so yes i have my notes make sure that i've got everything right and you know i've had some people go get you a teleprompter so you don't have to have notes and you know that's what everybody else does well it's the same difference okay i don't care you know, I'm not 20 something anymore. I'm 63. So <laughs> I'm going to use my notes, a little old school about stuff. And it's just, there it is. So anyway, on with the thing. And while I'm thinking about it, please don't forget to hit all the buttons. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like. I really appreciate it. And uh, share my videos. And don't forget to leave me comments. Hey, and on this one, let me know maybe have some ways that you do some magical cooking. And uh, it might help out some other people as well. So, and I always love learning something new. So, anyway, all right. So, first of all, you know, we all need food to survive. All right. It just is what kind you eat, what you do with it, you know, doesn't necessarily matter as long as you're healthy with it. All right. So, you know, why not use all this little daily thing that we do in your magical working? All right. So, I mean, we all use herbs for cooking. We use them for magic. And the whole thing can be combined, okay? So, how many mothers feed their children things like tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches when they're not feeling well? Ever think about that? You know, I despise tomato soup. I love grilled cheese. The idea of the two combined together is like, no. But... When I'm really sick, and that's how people know I'm really sick, I will actually crave tomato soup, all right? So that tells you that there's something in that, all right, that helps you in some manner, okay? And it's only certain types of being sick when I will crave it. So it just lets you know that your body is needing something that is in that, okay, or in those foods to help make you well, okay? So, you know, this is true about a lot of things. All right. Usually if you're really craving something, now I'm not talking about the, well, even with chocolate, you're craving some to satisfy something in your brain. Okay. Because it, you know, it just simply, it's calming, it's different things. Okay. You know, so, you know, it's like indulging in chocolate or ice cream or pudding or whatever your little go-to thing is. What does that do for you? It's calming. It's satisfying. It gives you a feeling of love, all that kind of stuff, okay? So all of these foods have something within it that helps trigger something in our body or helps something in our body. You know, all of this is magical cooking, okay? It is only limited by the ingredients that you have available and your imagination, okay? And a little, you know, you need some knowledge on some of these different things. And that's what I'm here to help you with a little bit. Okay. And then, like I said, you can build on it from there. You know, first thing you need to do is you need to transform your kitchen from this messy little place into a magical working space. Okay. That means make sure all your dishes have been washed, dried, put away. Um, you know, your countertops are clean, your floor is clean, that you have cleaned and cleansed everything around there, okay? Get rid of all the mundane nastiness, okay? And make this a sacred space, all right? Just like as if you were going to cast a circle, we want 
this space because we're fixing to work magic. If we're going to work magic. We need a sacred space of sorts. Okay? So that's the first thing that you're going to do is get your space cleaned and cleansed. Okay? Now, the next thing is to choose foods, whether it's food, spices, whatever, that are the ingredients based on what type of magical working you want to do. Okay? And this is where I'm going to use my notes here to make sure that I don't, you know, miss any. And there is a lot more. I narrowed it down to something yeah, that fits within this video. Otherwise, I could be reading you a list for quite a while. So you can do more research on more types of things. I picked just some of the top things that people tend to, um, you know, go after more than others. Okay. So, all right. So the first thing we have is protection. Okay. And there are lots of foods and herbs and things that go under protection. All right. But the few that I listed are barley, garlic, or twisted bread. So this is making stuff. Uh, you know, this is making your bread and everything so that you're putting that protection in it. Okay. You twisted bread as I twist this, you know, it's, I'm twisting in the magic that uh, anybody who eats this is, you know, going to be protected. You know, same thing with, you know, whatever you're doing. You do this, okay? Um, let's see. Blueberries, mulberries, pineapple, artichokes, broccoli, lettuce, onions, and tomatoes, okay, are all foods that can be used for protection. Now, these, all these same things can fall under other categories as well, okay? And I tried not to really overlap them in here, but you can look them up, okay? Do your research. And don't just trust one place because, you know, not everybody puts out the right stuff. So check different sources, okay? Uh, you know, find some good mag magical cooking books that will kind of help. Or, you know, maybe the information on the internet. Just make sure that you're getting the right stuff, okay? All right. So next we have prosperity because everybody is always wanting prosperity. All right. So we have wheat, banana, fig, orange beans, pumpkin, and green peppers, okay? You know, so we have some, you know, a few green things in there, things with seeds that grow, um, you know, so there's a lot of times there's things about them that you can think about it, and it makes it that. It's like on the protection. If you notice a lot of things of them have layers, okay? Onions, lettuce, all these things that have layers to them, it's kind of like when you cleanse your house and you, so you now you've made this space and then you go outside and then you go out to the outer bears, you know, you're creating layers of protection. Okay. So if somebody breaks through one, there's more they got to try to get through to get to you. Okay. Does that make sense? So kind of, you know, think about that on these different things on why they fit in that category. Okay. All right. So. Next, we have love, okay? So love, we're going to have things like cookies and pies, most of your fruits, all right? Uh, beets, uh, leeks, truffles, you know, most of these things are going to be your delectables or they're going to be red, okay? So, you know, those are some of your ideas for love, all right? Uh, psychic awareness, okay? So I've got, only have a few on here on that one. It's uh, bamboo, celery. And mushrooms. And no, I am not talking about the mushrooms that mm, do things in your head. Okay. We're talking about regular, everyday eating mushrooms, you know, um, your Bellas and things like that, Portobello. So, anyway, um, but those are some of the things that you can do, you know, work into your food when you're trying to work on these different things. Be sure to state your intent, your purpose, you know, stir that in there. I am adding these mushrooms to help open my third eye and help with my psychic awareness and blah, 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 okay? Or any of those who eat it. It, it depends on who you're cooking for, okay? You know, you may not want all your children running around with their third eye wide open. So be careful about who's going to be eating the food that you're putting all this in, all right? Be smart. You know, as I said before, there are so many, you know, foods out there for all the different categories. You know, you got grounding, weight loss, uh, fertility, mental concentration, on and on and on. 
okay? So there are all kinds of foods out there that can help with all of these kinds of things, okay? And it goes along with your stones and your oils and whatever, okay? Uh, so do your research. When you're trying to achieve these things in your life, do your research on what helps with it, you know, and incorporate all of it instead of just trying to do one thing, okay? Um, and, you know, and make sure it feels right to you. you know? but once again, just make sure that as you're preparing this food in your cleansed and clean sacred space here, that you are, you know, putting your magical intent, you know, as you're chopping, okay? Uh, protection. As I chop, you know, th this food, I am chopping away anybody's ability to cause harm you know whatever just you know be creative you don't have to use my words or anybody's words out of a book think about what your intention is okay and do, use the words that fit that that feel right to you because if it feels right to you and it's coming from in here it's going to be so much stronger than taking anything out of a book or off the internet or whatever okay so it's really important, you know, so think about all of it before you start. Decide what it is you want before you go to the grocery store to get your groceries. Or if you're lucky enough to have a garden, have your intent of what you're wanting to do before you go out to pick that food, okay? And then, you know, as you're, if it's something that need, you know, can or needs to be washed, as you're washing it, you're washing away any negativity, you know, make the whole thing a process. Okay, and you know, like I said, as you're cutting or char chopping or whatever you're doing with it, make that you know your intent, the whole process, all the way through the putting it together, the baking it or the frying it, or you know, if it's a, more of a salad type thing that you're mixing it, whatever you're doing, it goes all the way up to where it goes on the plate, and if it's you that's eating it. As you're eating, I am taking into my body all this protection or all this love or prosperity, and it brings it all to me, okay? So, you know, the whole process from beginning to end is the whole magical spell, ritual, whatever you want to call it, okay? Does this make sense? I hope it does. Leave me some comments. Let me know what type of magical cooking you do, okay? Be sure to click that like if you don't mind because it does help get my videos out there. Uh, whether you realize it or not, it really does help so that other people see them. So does your sharing. And anyway, I really appreciate all of y'all supporting me and being here. Uh, and, you know, leave me your comments. They make me feel really good. So anyway, everybody have a wonderful and blessed day. And happy magical cooking. Blessed be.